believe that these tiny headphones have over 80 hours of battery life? Yeah, me neither. Hey guys, we're back today with the Marshall Major 4 headphones. These come on the heels of the Marshall Major 3, which were actually a pretty good pair of headphones, so expectations are high going into this review. Before we get into the review, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. The Marshall Major 4 headphones are actually on ear headphones, which means that these sit quite literally on your ear instead of around it. I typically don't really wear on ear headphones because I wear spectacles, and after a couple of hours, my ears tend to start to hurt. These though are really comfortable. They weigh just 165 grams and they can actually be folded up quite compactly so that they don't take up too much space in your bag. Speaking of compact, look at how small these ear cups are. It's insane when you think about how good these sound in such a small package. Add on to that, you have wireless charging and 80 hours of battery life. That's crazy. You get Marshall's standard design aesthetic, which is pretty nice, with a pebbled leather covering the headband. There's the iconic gold multi-directional control knob that controls power, volume, track skipping, Bluetooth pairing, and all that. There's also a 3.5mm port that you can use for wired listening or to share what you're listening to with a friend. Although I reckon most people won't actually use this feature. There's no noise cancelling or other features that you might have come to expect with over-ear headphones, but you typically don't see those on on-ear headphones anyway. There's also Bluetooth 5.0, so interruptions, dropouts, none of those. As for sound quality, these are pretty balanced with a slight skew towards bass. Surprisingly, I didn't find the bass as powerful as I expected, but the mids and treble are pretty decent. I do have to note here that because there is basically no isolation, you do have to listen to music at a higher volume than normal, but that's pretty standard for on-ear headphones. Despite the really comfortable fit, on-ear headphones just aren't meant for prolonged periods of use. After about 2 hours or so, my ears do start to hurt after being bent around the arm of my spectacles. If you're just looking to use these for commuting on the train or the bus, they work fine. But if you're looking to use them for a whole day's worth of work, you'll definitely have to take them off occasionally to give your ears a break. Some downsides though. First, there's basically no protection for these in the box at all. No hard case, not even a fabric pouch. It's actually a little bit of a bummer. Next, you don't even get the most basic feature on most headphones. Auto pause or wearing detect. Most headphones typically have a sensor inside them that will basically automatically pause your music whenever you take the headphones off your ears. Not so for the major four. At 269 Singapore dollars, I can't say I recommend these because that's a really hefty price for a pair of pretty basic on-ear headphones. But if you're looking for something that will last for a really long time on a single charge, then these could possibly be one of the longest lasting headphones on the market right now. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the Marshall Major 4. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to us and like this video. Till next one, see you guys!